Jeez. <laughs> About to do our first diaper change at home. <laughs> Take him out of his car seat. With his newborn? Yep. What's aqua for? We have it upstairs. That's stuff she gave us. All right, we're doing our first ever tummy time. The doctor said to do it as soon as we got home. Prop him up on his little elbows. Is that what you're supposed to do? Yeah. There you go. Tummy time. Wait, there were batteries in it. That's all worried with me walking with the you're baby. Not, you're holding your phone and the baby He's in one fine. hand. He's fine. Look how perfect he is. I look crazy. It's about time to shower. But we'll just start another vlog. First vlog being home with our baby. <laughs> He's smiling. You're smiling. <laughs> He's so precious. Quickly, want to start the vlog. I like can't even tell you how bad my skin has been. Um, picking at it and just like whatever. So ignore. I'm about to go shower again. But uh, I want to go over everything the hospital actually gave me when we left because I feel like I really over prepared for like postpartum and everything. And honestly, they ended up giving me so much stuff that I wish I didn't buy as much as I did because I didn't need to. So. First things first is a belly binder. I don't know, obviously like not all hospitals are gonna give you everything that you may need, but my hospital was good. And this is a belly binder, so I will try to use this. I don't know how tight you can make it. I'm sure you can make it tight enough, but just kinda pulling everything back together. Honestly, I'm not feeling like all that crazy about my belly. Um, just a little bit of looseness. It's uh, such a weird feeling, but it's honestly not that bad. Um, belly binder. They gave me a manual breast pump, the Medela breast pump, which I actually already had, so I didn't need this necessarily, but it's good to have on hand. Um, bunch of little ice pack holder things for down there. Uh, a bunch of nipple shields because I needed one in the hospital for a day, um, but I haven't been using it since, like, I did it one feed and then we've kind of got our latch down, but they did send me home with a few more just in case we need them. Uh, some more diapers, which is really nice. Um, these are little breast shields, Medela. I think they carried a lot of Medela stuff, so, um, just helps with... The nipple, I guess, not rubbing on clothes or anything. A ton of tux type pads, like the witch hazel pads, which I bought tux. Probably didn't need to buy tux because gave it to me. Diaper rash cream. Uh, wipes. Got some uh, nipple cream of nipple creams actually uh this is for an ointment for like down in your pads they gave me a ton of pads i'm gonna keep these downstairs um and these diaper underwear things i actually don't love i didn't love these uh so i probably won't use these too much uh little pads too and then more nipple cream so that's everything Gave a crap ton of stuff. I don't know if I'll use these big pads anymore either. Um, but I have them just in case. And I think that's everything. So, definitely a lot of stuff. I won't be needing to do... Uh, I probably wouldn't have needed to buy like my own tux. I think that having my own um, depends. I prefer over like what the hospital gives. Um, and the Perry bottle is gonna be helpful being home but that's probably like the only things i'd buy myself so 
Um, yeah, they gave a lot of stuff. We're about to shower up for the night and kind of relax, eat some dinner. Um, we have our first pediatrician appointment tomorrow, which is really crazy. And um, it's at 9.30 tomorrow morning. It was the only appointment they had for a Saturday, like last minute. And since we got sent home a little earlier than they were thinking, usually they hold you two days, but they only kept us one. So I feel very lucky to be back home already and got a doctor's appointment really early in the morning because they wanted him to be seen soon. So that's that. Matt's in the room. Laying with the baby. Such a good dad. Uh -uh. His eyes keep bracing under his eyelids. Mm -hmm. Occasionally does a little quiver of the chin. <laughs> Aww. I just got out of the shower. Matt is literally just walking around with him. And I put on this robe. I actually have biker shorts on too. Look how cute. Hey. Yeah. You're a cutie patootie, looking at your dad, I like that. <laughs> okay, but I put on this like cheap like robe right? from um, Walmart, but I also have on these biker shorts, just to try to like keep the belly intact a little bit, pull it back in a little, and like something tight on the belly. Um, and I have a nursing bra on, so I wanted this on. I'm like struggling with what I can possibly wear that is like easy to nurse, and quickly like pull my boob out. So I figured this is the best thing for right now. And then when we leave the house, I'll put on other types of clothes. But for just laying in the house, this is good. And it's the craziest thing in the whole world when you come home and don't have a, bit, a belly anymore. Frank is home. He's about to meet his little baby brother. I kind of want to go out and say hi to Frank first so he doesn't flip out. Okay, how are you? How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Good. Nothing. Hi! It's okay! Hi! Oh! Hi, Frank. What's up, buddy? We missed Make you. Make him calm first, right? We missed you, man. Let him smell the baby on you, which is good. I forgot that little thing. Okay. He slept um, on that blanket. Oh, wow. Really? Frank, Frank feels like a ton of bricks. I <laughs> him around for a while. That's your brother. You can sniff a little bit. <laughs> Frank, what is that? That is so awesome, Sarah. Maybe put this on the floor and let him cut no, it. No, no, the floor because he can jump in them. I don't think he would, though. I don't think he would either. Just let's see what he does. Still let's see what he does. Is he curious? He smells. He smells. What is it, Frankie? That's fun. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's the best. <laughs> you gotta get. You gotta. Yeah, that's I'm afraid one. he's gonna get too excited. Okay. Good morning. We are off to the doctor's. It's nine. Oh gosh, nine o'clock. I think we have the baby in the car seat, right? This thing over my eyebrow, under my eyebrow. It's we insane. Haven't, we haven't been right. We're doing just fine. <sighs> stressful. A stressful night. And yeah, we were up like he actually sleeps really well once he's down, but getting him down just takes a long time. So yeah, yeah. The day he sleeps great. Nighttime, not a big fan of it. So, got the diaper bag packed up, getting in the back with him, and I think that's it. Here he is, in his car seat, little football onesie. Gotta get you to the doctor, mamas. Gotta get you to the doctors. Okay, just got here. Have his paperwork from the hospital, have all the things he got done. We're running late. I know, come get him. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> um, so, feeling a little better. Waking up a little bit. It's just exhausting. An exhausting day already. It's 9 a.m. I need to take like more, like five naps, I feel like. But. He didn't shrink. I appreciate it. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this has become quite the adventure of the day. Getting out and about a lot more than I thought. <laughs> um, but we finished up with the doctor. We were there for like an hour. Our appointment was an hour ago, so it was actually really long. Doctor is good, um, but they are a little concerned about his jaundice. So we're going to the hospital right now to get his jaundice retested. So, um, gonna go to today, possibly tomorrow, and then coming back to the doctor on Monday. So nothing too concerning. She wasn't like all like crazy worried, but she was like better safe than sorry, just get it checked. And everything else looked good. Any other updates, Matt? Nothing too crazy. He lost a bit of weight, but that's normal to be expected. Yeah, they said it takes Weeks yeah, two weeks to go back, back up. Birth weight, which mm -hmm. I told you that. I I knew that. Seemed, it seems it weird. It seems long, like but like, like that baby that was just checking in. Yeah, that was an old baby though. I know. I'm excited for him to be like able Chucky. to hold his head up like that and yeah. you just hold him like normally. I like my baby though. I like my baby just like this. You're a perfect little Lane. So we're off to the hospital. I thought you said little angel. Little angel. I was gonna say. I don't know if he's quite angely. You're angely. You sure are. Okay, we're yeah. off. Okay, just got home from the hospital and it took a long time. They took blood work. So I guess we'll find out soon if he is jaundice. But we're home now. Yeah. Sure, check his diaper. But I'm gonna try to take a nap soon. Matt's gonna go get us some Wawa for lunch. I'm going to go clean myself up a little, put on sweatpants, get ready to take a nap. And yeah, hopefully we hear back from the doctor soon about the jaundice. We might have to go back tomorrow and do the same thing over again, which will really suck, but we'll see. It's now nine o'clock and I'm gonna quickly catch up with you guys. Today has been like the most draining, emotional day of my life. And I cry every single time I like open my mouth. So, and it's just a big change. And I'm so beyond happy and like grateful. It's just, I feel like these emotions like are normal. It's the biggest hormone chip someone could possibly go through. And it's a lot, so that's where I am. Gonna go to bed, it's nine o'clock, and gonna try to get him down. Every time we put him down in a bassinet or like anywhere flat to sleep, besides like our arms, he fusses. So it's been like kind of hard to get him sleeping not on us, which we've been loving having him like, just like holding him like all the cuddles right now, because obviously <laughs> he is like, 50 some hours old and like we just are so obsessed with him but we can't sleep because he doesn't sleep when we put him down so I think we're gonna have to start trying to not hold him as much when he sleeps during the day and hopefully that helps at night because it is not too easy so definitely a lot going on in this household hectic and I have cried like 50 million times today and I just like can't stop crying. So that is the update. I'm gonna go to bed. Hopefully we sleep a little tonight and I'll see you guys later.